I've got a wheelchair accessible school bus. I bought now two vehicles that are wheelchair accessible. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three wheelchair accessible vehicles that are on auction right now online that you could bid on and possibly have in your driveway by the end of the week. Let's go take a look. There are many ways that we could find uh, wheelchair accessible vehicles online. If we were to go ahead and do a, a video on all of them, heck, it could be hours long. But in this video, I went online to a couple of top sites and I found three that look all right. And I wanted to show you in case you're looking not only to purchase one now and the different uh, price ranges, but also how I'm finding them. So if you're not ready yet, but maybe in a month or two, you're ready to pull the trigger, this is how I'm doing it and this is how you could do it too. Let's take a look. Of all the possible resources we could use online to find handicap accessible vehicles, today we're gonna to use two of my favorites. They're gonna be GovDeals.com and Public Service Auction. These are auction sites where you place a bid on the vehicle and if you have the winning bid, you leave with the vehicle. That's how I bought my bus for $1,600. You go in, you register for these sites, you put a credit card in. I think they want to hold $50 on the credit card because what they're doing is they're trying to keep all the all the rascals off the website from coming in and, and bidding on things they don't really have any intentions on buying. They also have ways to figure out if somebody's friend is bidding on something to kind of get the price up and they just take that person out of the auction. They're trying to keep these things genuine and authentic. And so they want you to have skin in the game just to register to be able to bid on these but I can vouch firsthand that that's how I got the vehicle that I'm living in now and my winning bid was $1,600. Now since then the price has gone up but it's still a pretty good deal. How do you know what kind of vehicle you're going to get? What kind of condition it's going to be in? Well there's a couple of things that I have to say to address that. The first one is someone will allow you at auction sites to use a little plug module such as this to plug into a socket underneath the dashboard. You download an app on your phone to to sync with this and it'll tell you what the codes are that it's throwing if it's if it has any codes that it's throwing and you can then decide if it's a good deal or not. What I like about this one is it's about a hundred dollars I think a little over a hundred dollars and you'll see some for cheaper but don't be fooled because the cheaper ones are just giving you a thin version and once you buy it and get it and start learning it and downloading everything they say oh the real version is you know this upgraded price and maybe upgraded monthly and upgraded 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 with this one at the time that I started using it a year ago it's the one-time payment and it syncs you in with a community of other people that have this where it not only shows you the code but other folks that have gotten that same code that have repaired their vehicle describe what they did to fix it to make the code go away so there's a lot of value with that with that there too I'm not saying use blue driver you know this this isn't sponsored by blue driver but I'm just giving you some information that might be useful for you if you're looking to vet a vehicle also build in a little bit of extra funds when you go to buy a vehicle don't spend your last dollar on a vehicle lest you get it home and it's got a bad transmission and there you are with every money every dollar spent and you don't have anything left over for some unplanned uh, mechanical expense it's always a good idea you know, anything could happen. Build yourself a little padding to get new tires, to uh, put a tune up on it, maybe some new plugs, wires, cap, and rotor if that's what the vehicle calls for. It's just a good idea to, you know, to plan for the worst. All right, let's take a look and see what they've got on Gov Deals right now. I go in, I type in, how am I type in uh, wheelchair? That's not bad, a 2005, nine, days left on the auction starting bid 500 so I don't know if that's where they started it or if some well there's a high bidder it looks like sign in to place your bid so a thousand fifty what kind of motor and how many miles are on this thing you got your VIN number so you can go in and and uh, to one of these websites Carfax or Carfox whatever and see if you know what the vehicle history is on it it says it's only got 25,000 miles on it. That seems low for a 2005. 
The University of Washington Surplus Property Program is pleased to offer this 2005 Ford Econoline F350 5.4 liter V8 16 valve needs to be jumped to start, runs and drives. Winning bidder will need to bring their own jump box or vehicle and jumper cables. So it might just need a battery. That's no big deal. You're talking about $150, $250. Nah, probably not that much. If that's all it needs. They don't want to put money into these. They just want to get rid of them at these auctions. So that, that's why they're not putting a new battery in it. So there you go, there's a the shuttle bus. Let's take, take a look at some pictures of it. This looks like it's been out parked in the, in the rain and the weather and not really wiped down. Are we gonna get any inside pictures? Yeah, this has been sitting out. Probably should be a good idea to put tires on it. Harbor View Medical Center. So that's why it's got a wheelchair lift. And there's your wheelchair lift. Okay, so there's one right there. What else can we find? Here's one in North Carolina. Let's see what's going on with this one. Starting bid, $100, this is 2011. 186,000, accurate unknown. So this could have any, any number of miles on it. 5.4 liter V8. So it could have 250,000 miles on it for all we know. Let's see what it looks like. It's a van. And the, sh and the lift is all the way in the back. That's not bad. That's not a bad place to put it. Starting bid $100. I'm not, I'm not in love with this. I think that the miles are a little high. But if you could get it for cheap, it might be worth it to you. Anyway, there's one to consider. Let's keep going. GovDeals.com. They've got some rigs today. Canover, North Carolina. Conover, North Carolina. North Carolina. A lot of these are from North Carolina, so they're probably there's probably a, a place that has these vehicles like for instance, a retirement community or a hospital service that has a fleet of these vehicles and they're switching them over to newer vehicles. They, their funding has come through, they're liquidating their old vehicles. And so they just use uh, govdeals.com as their uh, auction outlet for them. That's what it looks like. Let's find, so we got a shuttle bus we found, we found a van. Let's do a school bus. 2001 GMC Savannah. A cute little, looks like probably a five window. Looks like it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. That's okay. It's gonna drive nice, it's on a van chassis. And I wanna see the wheelchair lift. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not going to believe something has a wheelchair. If you don't see the, the actual hydraulic lift in the pictures, they could even take it out and it could just be coming up under uh, handicap accessible or wheelchair lift. Unless I see it in the pictures, I'm not going to bite on it. I wouldn't recommend it. So we're going to move on. Here's one that needs paint. Starting bid $100. What's nice about this so far is that the paint job, being what it is, probably scares a lot of people off, and it really shouldn't scare you off. You could sand that down with a little orbital sander with some fine grade sandpaper and hit it with some white spray paint. If you're just out, you know, living out in the wild, you get a good deal on a rig, I wouldn't let the paint scare me off. I want mechanical, I don't really care about something like that. I mean, some things you, you want it to be nice, but you can make that nice. Current bid, $380. 186,000 miles, they're not sure about the accuracy of that, so that's not great. What can you show me? Oh, it looked like in the back was the, see that? So let's see it. I wanna see it to believe it. Uh, oh, there it is. It has a wheelchair lift. Depends on 
how interested you are in this thing and, and what it ultimately is gonna sell for. Would, would it be worth $1,000? Heck, if you're in the area, here we go, it's a uh, turbo diesel. Runs has been sitting for a period of time. And so a couple hundred thousand miles is not that big of a deal typically for a diesel. You might wanna check that year engine, 2011, 6.0 V8, 32 valve, turbo diesel. You could type that in and look in forums and say, hey, did they have problems with that motor that year? And, and see, maybe they needed, all needed valve jobs that year and then they changed it to a different iteration. Do a little research so you don't uh, shoot yourself in the foot, but you got your, your little uh, computer that you can plug into it and do a little bit of research on the year of that motor and this could end up being a real good deal for you right now the winning bids 385 bucks come on man five days all right let's keep looking man there's a lot and then it's just showing wheelchairs let's do let's do one more Conover, North Carolina. Man, if you're near North Carolina, there's so many in Conover, North Carolina that it might be worth seeing if you could drive down and plug your uh, your module in and seeing what the, I mean, you're gonna learn so much more in person, but you got the mother load right there in Conover, North Carolina right now, guys. So let's just leave it at that. Conover, North Carolina, and then we found one on the, on the West Coast. Let's head over to public storage and see what's going on. Current bid, $3,000. This is something I pulled up earlier. They want to take a Visa or MasterCard or Discover payment. Less than or equal to $4,000. Current price is three. This is a 2010 with 113,000 miles on it. And it is also a diesel. So th this, this bus here is just a baby. This is a good... This is a good deal if you want something this big. Let's take a look at some pictures. Can we get that bigger? You're gonna paint it anyway, so, but the paint does not look bad. Kind of a modern design, little bit of rust, I'm not, I'm not too scared of that. And there's your lift. So we have confirmation that we have a lift on it. We like that. I like the front end. It's gonna be a lot more comfortable to drive than my bus most probably. Comfortable seat, there's your engine. So this one, if you want something with a lot of room, The winning bid right now is $3,000 and it's got seven days left and it is in Lyndhurst, Ohio. So we, we covered the West Coast, we covered Ohio, we covered the, the Far East Coast in North Carolina. We're finding them all over the place, guys. Let's do another one. I just typed in handicap van in public surplus and buses are coming up. So they've got a search engine in here that, that'll just go ahead and give you the other stuff too. Let's take a look at this, this Ford here. Runs, starts and runs, it says. Mileage is 242, 242,000. This is a 2012. I'm not seeing on this one if it's gas or diesel. If it's gas, that might be a lot of miles. But it's a little van with a high tie. It looks good. It's got that pop top fiberglass top on it. And there's your there's your lift. So we got confirmation on the lift. It's right there behind the door to enter the vehicle. Winning current price is $3,000. Guys, there's no telling how many miles you can still get out of this. You might be able to get 100,000 more miles out of it or, or 20 more miles out of it. Best we can do is uh, 
research that motor, see what it typically gets. We've got a VIN number that's gonna tell you if you do the research probably what type of motor it has in it exactly. And it depends on how well it's been cared for. This doesn't move the needle for me tremendously, but it might you. So we found a van, we found a shuttle bus, and we found some school buses, all with wheelchair lifts, that are all active right now online, both on the East Coast, the Midwest, and the West Coast to get you started. Hopefully this video uh, is of value to you and it gets your wheels turning so you can kind of see. Also, you know, we don't want to sleep on Facebook Marketplace and eBay and all the, the normal suspects. We've got Craigslist we can check. But this is how we do it, guys, and here's a bunch of them to get you started. Uh, I uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see you again soon.